Let's just not go in the blast zone. Well, Alan Diss continues the longest losers run. He lost to uh, Kirby Kid 2-0 in winners. Are we reading the chat? What? Yeah, we, we read the chat. I just... I'm actually flabbergasted. that many people that are playing in this tournament outside of like the normal people that you always see like wow. I've never heard of this Alan Disc person before today but he's been winning a lot in losers bracket I think this is a pretty good matchup for Snake, too. Snake Ryu, huh? Yeah. He just doesn't have to interact with uh, Ryu or Ken. He's one of the Tijuana players. I see. Oh, is that who the snake player is? Alandis? Yeah. Or maybe it's Alandis. No. He uses a very uncommon snake color. I yeah, use this one green. sometimes. I like the digital camo. It's always been my favorite. Honestly, there's not a single snake color I don't like. Anyway, lose quarters. Best of five. So already watching this match, Alan Dis is using uh, more attacks that aren't special than his match versus Kiraflex. <laughs> I think he knows that he's gonna have to box uh, Ryu, especially with the way that Tatsu works against Projectile. Uh, that Ryu has an approach tool that, um, well, his previous opponent didn't have. But now we're starting to see more explosions come out. With the up smashes, more grenades. Oh. Oh, he does the Z catch with the grenades. Pretty smart. Oh jeez, that up tilt, that up tilt range is pretty scary. I wonder if it kills Ryu at this percent. Even heavy character? Oh, it definitely kills now. Let the grenade save. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. All that over the screen. <laughs> yeah, that was just so many explosions. You saying this guy was making a losers run? Yeah, uh, he has, he lost in the winner's finals of his pool to oh, it's Kirby, Kirby Kid. Kid. And since then, he's just been beating everyone. 
I think Kirifax is the only person that took a game off of him in Luigi's bracket. Everyone else got two. Uh, looks like Psych did as well. Oh no, wait, no, oh. that was against Kira. So you're right. The only person to take a game off him has been Kiraflex in loser's bracket. But what is going on? All oh, this plasma and explosion. Entering, we're entering the matrix. Uh, Lieutenant Surge is going to take advantage of the lag and um, toss as many projectiles as possible. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, I think we're, we're back, boys. We're back. Uh, it was a very uh, weird intermission there, but we're just gonna keep tossing this shotgun at you over and over. Why not? Keep. Is that just, is it just me or does that have like an interesting angle after it connects on the shield where it kind of like angles up after? No, it does. It's weird. So it makes it so good. Just stays on your shield forever, huh? Yeah. Right, back to chucking plasma. This looks like Street Fighter. <laughs> it definitely oh, looks like Ryu. Wait, he's gonna sub tilted. Oh, oh go for oh, the collarbone breaker. Oh, he went for the forward air after the grenade explosion. But, nice. You can cancel. Oh, then you got C4 stuck. Yeah. I don't even see. I don't even see when that happened. He, as soon as he came off the angel platform, we just stuck him. I like the game. I always get forget Snake has a down smash. Oh, C4. Get him out of here. Did you know it was there? Yeah, I saw him stick it there. But that was just really hard to avoid in general because the grenades were there as well. Nice stuff. Alan Dis. Taking another game. A very solid Snake player. Yeah. Looks very confident in his play. I didn't mean to say that. Like... I didn't mean to say Solid Snake. Oh. I see what By you did. By the way, that was not a pun. He's good. <laughs> Is what I meant to say. Alright, well, what's going on? Uh, are we getting a lag test, or what's going on? What's Board this? Chief. What is happening? Okay, that is a switch I wasn't expecting. What? Oh wait, no, that's no, this is for Chief. <laughs> We're lag testing. Gotcha. All right. I looked away for a second, and I looked back, and Bylas was on the screen. Okay. Lag <laughs> test, brother. You just won the first game. Yo, go up. 2-0 to lag test DQ? <laughs> the Cosmos. That's the true combo. Wait, do you think uh, it's it's Surge that acts for the lad tech check, whatever? I'm pretty sure that's just War Chief implementing a lag check because that was some bad lag. I mean, it was Surge for sure <laughs> that asked for it. We're responsible TOs and would not do that unless otherwise asked to do so. That was some bad lag, though. <laughs> What's the verdict, War Chief? Uh, there was. Oh, we're waiting for the other guy to get in. To wait for both. So how does this work? If, if Alan Dis is quote unquote laggier, does he just lose? Thank <laughs> you. Is that what happens? I don't. I've never been a part of this. I've never actually seen this 
in uh, action before. Heard the stories. Oh, the fabled legends of the lag checks? <laughs> oh yeah, did you see that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the match versus Kirifax looked fine, though. That's a pretty good snake grenade trick. I'm gonna do that. I missed it. What was it? So he does the the backwards B toss, catches it, and then does reverse. Well, there's no lag, as you can see, so... Wait, hold up. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a Violet lag for a little bit there. Alright. What's the verdict, War Chief? They're both DQ'd. Yo? <laughs> You're gonna float right on to losers finals? Let's go. What is the point of this? Yeah, I don't get it. Like, it doesn't lag when you guys are playing, but they're the ones that have to play each other. So, like, what if it just lags when they're playing each other? Oh, well, we can't identify who's doing it. So confusing. We need that thing that Nairo has on his stream. The freaking, like, bot that shows up in the corner of, like, who's dropping the most frames. That's so crazy. Then we'll always know who's lagging. That's true. War Chief, why don't we have that? <laughs> <laughs> why don't we have the lag bot? The lag bot. <laughs> lag bot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Search, can we, come back to the game, can we, please. Can we just talk about Kiraflex more? <laughs> I don't want to... I don't remember that happened. You just want to what? It, it's <laughs> in the clip! Oh, oh yeah. It's he so can... funny. He thought that he won. The, like, the worst oh, part it's a game five. The worst part is our voices were the ones that told him he lost. Because he had our stream on in the background. <laughs> so he heard me say, I can't believe he lost. And he went, What? It'll, uh, that'll be a memory for the books. That happened. That was horrible. <laughs> that was so bad. How did he not realize that he lost? <laughs> he really thought he won. I just hope you can hear the audio in the background, because that's what it sells it. I swallow. Oh. Dan, Danny, you fool. <laughs> I've been e e -ed. <laughs> Please stop reading the chat. Uh, Gaia, why would you even do that? You compete in this tournament! <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, back to the match. Alright. Now that all the lag tests are done, let's get back to it. I actually thought, you know, Lieutenant Surge was doing a fairly good job against Elendis. Yeah, 
I don't. I it lagged up for like a second at the end, but like they didn't even play. Like they just stopped playing. So it's not like it affected anyone. I don't know. Anyway, let, let's see what happens this game. You know. I really like how uh, Alan just uses the grenades. It's really smart. Yo, parry into the focus punish? Yeah, I just think this is a hard matchup for uh, Shotos. Because how do they really get in versus Snake? Honestly. He's kind of had to slowly creep on him. Even that snake is snake is mobile enough. Yeah, he's like he he has really good projectiles, and then if you do get in on him, he has really good up close moves too. It's really nice using the crouch as well to get past the fireballs. And more dash attack. Just look at that dash attack. Enough is, or is all that Alondis needed just to escape the ledge. Corner pressure oh. is non-existent. Yeah, this is this is rough for uh, Surge. Gotta be honest, he's looking pretty lost in the matchup right now. All right, standing his ground, hiding underneath the platform, which is a good spot to be. This can, can uh, eliminate some of the 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 lobbing tools that Snake has, but still able to get that down tilt into Tatsu, closing out the stock. Already at a high percent though, yep. Just like that revenge kill. Check more plasma from center stage. Oh! Catching the grenade, sending it back. Nice, nice. Yeah, he needs to do he needs to do a lot to bring this back, honestly. Back throw? Yeah. How you get past this? Oh Snake Snake's just using up smash at the ledge. What what do you do about that? I mean he could talk to away, but the the bomb falls on top of him. It's not a good spot to be in. Yeah, gonna get the tech chase with an up tilt. Londis has the read on Lieutenant Surge. Oh, we're still living the Tatsu too? It's rough. Yeah, so goes through that. And still hanging on to his final stock. Able to avoid the Nikita. Ooh! Ooh. I actually that wasn't was sure what happened there because. We saw Lieutenant Surge like kind of pause due to the invulnerability of the of the Shoryuken. Yeah, that looked weird. It looked like he got his Shoryuken out in time, but he also got up to it at the same time. Either way, pretty dominant from uh, Alan. Kind of surprising he lost to Kirby Kid playing like this. I think K. Roll Snake is a terrible matchup for K. Roll. That's like one of the characters I specifically use Snake against. Alright, probably getting a stage. Switch now. Or maybe even a character switch from Sergio? This mm, could be the puff. This might be it. When the chips are down, you go puff. As the great H box would say, play the odds. 
when things get I rough, go puff. I still don't know why he says that, actually. I don't know what that means in the context of using puff, but he says it a lot. It's also 2-0. It's not, it's not 1-0. Oh, it's not puff. It's Falcon. Well, <laughs> sorry. Um, well, at least Falcon's faster, so you can actually get in a little bit easier than Ryu. Like, Ryu's gets super camped by Snake. That's true, and if, uh, ooh, okay. Uh, if Surge is pressuring a lot into the shield, uh, dash grab from Captain Falcon, uh, it's gonna still gonna be a very viable tool. Yeah, there's that dash grab, putting Alondis off stage. Speed's also going to allow him to really maneuver around all these all these explosions that Alondis's been doing a great job of keeping on the stage. Yeah, he just the mobility of Falcon is just something he didn't have when he was playing Ryu. Very difficult for him to get around the grenades. Looking really good for him right now, though. Don't watch him for that up tilt, though. I mean, even that just ooh, I just had an idea like pressuring with Falcon Kick might not be a bad oh. idea because at least at like mid hypersense the explosion should keep uh, Lieutenant Surge out of getting a really hard punish. Oh, uh, great nice. command grab! All right, nice, nice. Uh, so far, uh, Tan Surge playing around the grenades pretty well. Oh, but he keeps uh, he's rolling forward after getting down thrown by Snake. Uh, so far, Al Alan Dis has read that every single time. Yeah, just giving him an easy follow up, a tech chase. Shove over to me? Oh, no, does it catch the spot dodge or cheat it? See the Z drop tacking a little bit of extra damage onto Lieutenant Surge. The amount of time that Alana spends in the air. I'm hoping Ooh. to see we, we get to see maybe a few more command grabs. Oh yeah. good dodge. But it's also risky to go for that too in case he just drops the C4 on you. Okay. Tennis Surge got Alanis in a decent spot for Doe here. Oh man, the Rogue Falcon Kick. No one ever sees it coming. And it's a really fast move, covers a lot of ground. And it even, like, luckily for Lieutenant Surge, it had Alanis drop the grenade in a position where it didn't explode on him. Okay, nice job there to get past the explosion. Gonna go high. Oh. Wow, oh, wow. still how I made hurt. it back. Wow, the reverse of B on that. Yeah, maybe a little bit of assistance from a wall jump beneath a Pokemon Stadium. So far, the Falcon Pig's looking really good for uh, releasing the surge. Right down throw into Nair. Lon is recovering That's high. Probably, oh, gotta be ready to punish that. Oh, Jason man. with the Nikita. <laughs> Nowhere oh, is safe. Know. Oh, nice down throw. Wow. Yeah, he forced me to shield there because he was scared of the Nikita falling on top of him. That was really smart. Watch out for the grenade setups. Oh my goodness, so scary. Yeah, trying that to get the two frame with the S map. Oh man, the ledge traps coming out from Allen. It's too strong. Yeah, all those ledge traps put a ton of damage onto Lieutenant Surge, but finally able to escape the ledge. Make it oh. back to center stage. Oh, he tried to stick him. 
god, so many explosions. Hey, okay, he has him up the ledge now. Oh, did he catch the jump? Yes, he did. Super hard hit past that Nikita. You can't get past that Nikita, especially with no jump with that super linear recovery of Falcon. That's going to be 3 0 for Alan Dis. The Falcon definitely looked really strong. Honestly, at that point, probably should have came out from the game two. To be honest. I mean, I think Lieutenant Surge just realizes now that it's a I mean that's that should be the pick against Snake. His Captain Falcon did great. And if he had one more game with Captain Falcon, we'd probably see a game five. Wait, why did why did Alan leave? Doesn't he have to play the next match? Yes he does. So next match is Alan Dis and Just the Ice. Yeah, Ice. There's other thing. Wait, is this dude Alex Dis 